Hello, I'm Mike Thomas from LW Scientific. This is the i4 microscope, and this video is about proper installation and use of phase contrast. The microscope we're using today is the i4 semen evaluation microscope, which actually has the heated stage on it, um, and it will also have phase contrast installed. Uh, phase contrast is a way to view specimens that are unstained, live, moving, or somewhat transparent. Um, it gives you a way of contrasting the specimen without the use of color, stain, uh, by using indirect light. In the phase contrast kit, you will receive a phase turret condenser, a centering eyepiece, and four objectives, which are the 10x infinity plan phase, plus a 20x phase, 40x phase, and 100x oil. Now let's talk about what makes phase contrast objectives different. Um, each one of these objectives has a dark annulus ring built into it. And if you look closely through the rear of the objective, you can see the dark ring, which I often call the dark donut. This will become important later in the alignment process. Now let's talk about the phase contrast turret condenser. This condenser has five different settings built into it. The condenser has a 10x, 20x phase setting, a 40x phase setting, a 100x phase setting, and if you look underneath, you'll see the annulus rings, and I call this the halo uh, because it's creating a halo of light to come up through the slide. Um, and as you notice, as you're here, these alignment wheels help you move this annulus ring, this halo. Um, you will see that later when you are doing the alignment process. So again, there's different size rings. There's the 40X, the 10, 20. Uh, this turret also has a bright field setting with an iris control. Notice the little tab here controls my iris. So in this setting, you can use your microscope just like a normal cytology microscope in bright field. There is even a dark field setting on this turret. And the last piece of the phase contrast kit is the centering telescoping eyepiece, which, as you see, it can become taller to allow you to visualize the annulus rings during the alignment process. Now let's talk about installation. The first step in installation is to install your phase contrast objectives. After you've finished installing your objectives, next we'll install the phase contrast turret condenser. Move the microscope here. The first thing we need to do is lower the condenser holder. There's a wheel to the left here that I can turn, and there's a silver thumb screw which I can loosen and slide out my bright field condenser. Do not move the alignment knobs here. These are gross alignment for the condenser. We'll talk about that later. Um, as you're putting in your phase turret condenser, there is a pin and there is a slot. So make sure that it hits the slot and let's tighten it up securely. And then we'll move it all the way up. It's always important in phase contrast, not only for the alignment process, but the whole time you're using phase contrast, the condenser should be all the way up, almost touching the bottom of the slide. Um, next, we'll use our centering eyepiece. We will pull out a regular eyepiece and we're just gonna use this for the alignment process. Um, and I know that we're going to need to be about a half inch up, so I'll go ahead and lift that a little bit. All right. And I'll turn my light full bright. My wheel here now is set on 1020, and that means 10x and 20x objectives. They share the same setting here. So 10x objective, 10x setting here. Now, not only the condenser needs to be all the way up, but the stage also has to be all the way up, more or less in the focal plane. Um, the way I do that sometimes is I just use a long objective and I set my height to where that slide is almost touching the objective. Um, but back to the 10X. For the alignment process, you don't really need a slide. So we have our stage up, our condenser up. Now I need to find those rings. I'm looking for, remember the dark donut that's inside here and the halo that is created down here. So I can zoom it out to where I see that light halo very distinctly. 
there may be other scattered rings of light. Just ignore that. So we've got some alignment wheels and you'll see it moving. So I'm moving it around left and right, up and down. And the dark donut, um, you're more or less lining up the halo underneath the dark donut. So the dark donut inside this objective is blocking the direct light. So when I use the microscope in phase, I'm not staring directly into the light. Um, so that's how phase is working. Halo comes up, hits the specimen, and then the donut blocks the light, um, even though the specimen will be fully illuminated. So I have lined now my 10x objective. Same position on the wheel. The 20x is going to be perfect. You might have to refocus a little bit. So. And it's perfect because they shared the same ring. I haven't moved it. Now let's go to the 40 and spin my wheel. Again, refocus. It's very close. You know, I might have to do a tiny, just a tiny turn there. Um, and again, go to the 100x. Find the rings again. They're different sizes as you move through different powers. So just right. Um, it's very quick and easy to align phase. You may have to realign often, or if you're happy with the alignment, um, you can lock these wheels down. There's a little silver thumb screw underneath each one of them. If I lock them down, these aren't gonna move. So now, all of my rings are aligned, and I can remove my centering eyepiece. And now, I'm ready to use the microscope in phase contrast. So remember, of course, there is a bright field setting that you may use for your regular cytology work with an iris. Um, if you had a hard time lining your rings up, if you realize that the dark donut is here and the light ring did not really align, it was too far one direction or the other, um, you may have misaligned gross alignment of the condenser, meaning the condenser itself is not fully centered underneath the objective. So if the whole condenser is over here, it will be hard to get those annulus rings aligned. So if you've noticed you had a problem getting the rings aligned, you may have to turn your gross alignment knobs here to shift your condenser over and then repeat the process to get your annulus rings aligned. Hopefully you found this video informative and your microscope is set up properly and performing well. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to LW Scientific Sales team if you need any further assistance.